I'm a climate activist from Uganda. I was invited by the Arctic Base Camp to to be part of the youth um, that are learning about science and how we can use it to fight climate change. And uh, yeah, it's been a lovely experience. Just uh, the problem with the cold and uh, the temperatures. Um, we've been sleeping in tents and uh, it's been something that has been a wonderful experience because to me it was a form of it was, it was a form of demonstration to the governments to tell them that we've left our comfort zones we are sleeping out in the cold and we believe that It is time for them to leave their comfort zones as well and tackle the climate crisis because sorry, because it's uh, It's already killing people. Today I had the privilege to to be at a press conference with uh, other climate activists and it was a good experience for me because with that I was I was able to tell my story about the crisis in Africa and how people are affected by the impact of climate change. And after that, we went for the strike and yeah, just um, after the strike, it was a great strike. We walked through Davos and talked to different kinds of people. So after the strike, I decided to go through my phone to to post some some photos of the strike, and I I landed on this article. I'm sorry. I land on this article and I see I see the photos and and I clearly see how I was scrapped out of the photos and sorry it was like the hardest thing because everyone's message was being talked about and my message was left out and my photo was left out as well what really hurt me the most is that
I was just thinking about the people from my country and the people from the leadership and the people from Africa and how much I've seen people being affected I have seen people being affected by by the climate crisis in my country and in Africa and in various parts of the world. And I have seen people die and how people lose their families, people lose their children, people lose their homes and everything that they ever dreamed of and hoped for. And I just saw all these things. I'm like, who is going to be able to speak for all these people? Who is going to try and help these people bring their message across? Because even people we expect to share our message that's the media that's so that's so disappointing this is the first time in my life that I understood the definition of the word racism. And they have the guts to to change the photo without even giving an explanation or giving an apology. Does that mean that I have no value as an African activist or the people from Africa don't have any value at all? I'm sorry, I, I really thought I would be I just feel so upset right now. But we don't deserve this. Africa is the least emitter of carbons, but we are the most affected by the climate crisis. But you erasing our voices won't change anything. You erasing our stories won't change anything. And it's just one I tried going through the internet and I saw various, various news companies have done the same thing.
I'm sorry, I have to end this. I just don't feel okay right now. The world is so cruel. Mm.